Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience and those tuning in online. We're glad you all could join us as well. Best-selling author Karen Slaughter is back with us today. We spoke with her last year about her book, The Last Widow. She's back now with a new book called The Silent Wife. We'll talk to her about the new book, what it's been like for her to see the early response, and, of course, let you guys know how to get your own copy of it. Karen, welcome back to the program. Thank you. Well, Karen, you know, a lot of great things about this book. Of course, you give us a character that we will definitely remember, but I love the fact that you're able to take things that are so relatable and kind of rip from the headlines to kind of give us a storyline. I mean, what has it been like for you to see the early response to the book? You know, it's been really great, and uh, I'm I'm pleased that my fans are happy to have uh, Will Trent back and also <laughs> to get a little taste from my first series, my Grant County books, because – a fellow named Jeffrey Tolliver shows up. I haven't written about him in a long time. And, you know, it was just a lot of fun to write this book, and I'm just tickled that everybody's so happy with it. Well, Karen, you bring up one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. Does it feel like kind of reuniting with old friends when you kind of are able to bring these characters back in and kind of bring them into these real-world situations? Absolutely. And, you know, you, you're talking about real-world situations. As you know, I write about things that are happening in real life. and. Right. This was an opportunity for me to talk about, you know, the role of the police officer in the community and uh, explore what happens when a good guy who's a cop might have got something wrong. You know, how do you deal with that and how does another cop pick up on that case and, you know, try to figure out who the bad guy really is because that's, that's what this is all about. You know, my character, Will Trent, he's at a prison in the opening of this story and an inmate comes up to him and says, look, I didn't do it. And, you know, not a lot of people in prison say, yeah, you got me, it was me. I totally deserve to be here. Uh, So Will's a little skeptical, but he starts looking into this case and he realizes that maybe the cop who worked it eight years ago got it wrong. Well, I think that is the the big thing, and I think that there are so many uh, of the characters in this book that we're able to kind of go through, uh, Karen, that allow us to see how situations can can kind of change. Faith is one of those characters I think, you know, that readers will definitely remember. You also you mentioned the course uh, dealing with police. Another thing that we're able to see is the role that social media can play in this, especially today, right? I mean, what was it like for you to bring that element in, especially when it comes to those, you know, that we see like in the book, you know when we see today even in life about those that are missing or those seeking justice what was it like for you to kind of add that element in you know that's something that happens a lot and whether you're from the standpoint of the family of a victim of a crime you know there's a certain desperation that's totally understandable when you go online and you want to connect with other people who have been impacted by crime but then there's like this fringe element that heightens everything and people get so nasty you know, it, there there has to be some kind of um, algorithm of how long it takes for, for the Internet to turn on something, you know, mm-hmm. where they start out, they're very well-meaning, and then within a few posts you're getting death threats and people are saying you're a horrible person. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit. I mean, but at some point we've got to learn there, that there are certain standards online that we're, people are just going to have to meet in order to be part of our society. Yeah, so true. Karen, one more thing I want to talk to you about. I mean, you were used to, and like I mentioned, we were together last year when you were celebrating The Last Widow. Of course, the world is different this year. Uh, We're we're not meeting together the way that we typically are. How are you navigating uh, the differences and being able to promote your book during this time? Well, you know, I'm doing it virtually, like a lot of people. Everybody's familiar with Zoom now. Yeah. Um, and I'm missing being in bookstores. You know, you got a beautiful bookstore there, Lemuria. Yeah. Um, and Books a Million, and I, I just kind of miss being in bookstores. I'm sure a lot of people do. Uh, and and this is such a special time for me with my 20th book. A lot of times I go to these stores and I see the people I've been seeing for the last 20 years. So that's been hard, but. Considering what a lot of people are going through, it, it, those are very small problems in the scheme of things. Uh, I'm just fortunate I have a job that I can do from home and I don't have to worry about things. 
Right. Talk about that. I mean, your 20th book, as you mentioned, and then with this book, with The Silent Wife, being able to reunite with some of these characters we've gotten to know. I mean, could you have imagined when you began this journey, uh, Karen, that you would be here now 20 books later? Absolutely not. Um, you know, I I had a, a my first book deal, and that was probably one of the happiest days of my life to finally get that because I had wanted it for so long. Um, but what it's given me is the ability to really feel comfortable as a writer. You know, there's a certain confidence that comes from writing 20 books, and I, I don't think I'm perfect, but I think I get better with every book. That's my goal when I start out at least. And I'm real pleased when I look back at my career of what I've done. I, d- I don't think I've ever written the same book twice, mm-hmm. which is a lot of uh, a lot harder than it sounds. But I'm very pleased that I was able to do that, and I hope to keep doing it. Well, we know we look forward to it. Again, everyone, best-selling author Karen Slaughter has been our guest for this segment. Make sure you guys pick up her new book, The Silent Wife. You can get it through our friends at Amazon.com or order it through your favorite bookstore for sure. They'll be glad to be able to get it for you. And, Karen, how can our audience stay connected with you? They can look me up online at KarenSlaughter.com. That's K-A-R-I-N. Or they can go on Facebook if they want to see my cats. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, look, who does who doesn't like cats, right? Exactly. Karen, Karen, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it, and looking forward to speaking with you again soon. My pleasure. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live today. Let's make today amazing. Take care. <laughs> 